you feel like Halo Infinite's customization is a little bland? Well, this weekend, you can earn these coatings right here. We have a diamond encrusted coating for your sidekick you can earn, as well as the primary glory, which is like a red, white, and black kind of coding as well. This comes with Twitch drops that are a part of the EU regional finals event for DreamHack Valencia happening this weekend. So the way to earn this is that you go onto Twitch, you watch these live streams, and you have a chance to earn these codings right here. So for this one, the Gladiator's Edge, which is like the diamond one, right? You have, it's available for days one through three. So all throughout this weekend, you have to watch at least two hours within this weekend, and you'll be able to earn this. Also with the Primary Glory though, a little different, it's available for Saturday and Sunday, watch at least two hours, but they do stack. So if you watch only on Sunday, you do earn these as well. And for Championship Sunday, you do have a chance to win the Championship Trophy that's in the shape of like, you know, for those uh, good old fashioned weapon charms where if you watch at least an hour of the Grand Finals on Sunday, the actual Grand Finals. So make sure that your Twitch account is linked to your Halo Waypoint account for you to earn these things. It's a pretty straightforward process to make sure that you actually go through and just walk through that process, make sure you're all set up, ready to go before going on to do that. There is a page of how to link your accounts on the Halo support site. Just do a quick Google search. You'll be able to find it pretty easy. The difference with this event though, that there aren't gonna be any American teams. So all the teams that you're probably for more familiar with, if you're familiar with the HCS side of things, will not be at this event. This is strictly a European event. So the teams to look out for are definitely would be Ascend would definitely be one. Keep an eye out for Novix that did a little bit of a roster change as well. So they're also one of the partner teams. And Quadrant, as they are one of the teams that almost threw out the Sentinels that Kansas City tournament, which I ended up winning the whole thing. So these three teams are definitely teams you would definitely want to keep an eye out for. They had one of the sickest clips back-to-back -back situation happened at Kansas City. So this is a team you definitely want to keep an eye out for because they're going to make some noise for sure. This is the clip I was talking about. This is probably one of the best clips throughout the entire weekend at Kansas City pulled off by Chick right here. And this is like an amazing set of events right here that he just absolutely goes crazy with the sniper rifle, just dunking on the kids over a G1 to get an overkill. And then back to back, his teammate SLG also gets a crazy setup as well. Like it's just awesome stuff. I'll definitely keep an eye out for guys. We might even have a talk with uh, our good friend, Devious Grunt Alliance. We usually like to do that for these events as well. Uh, but you know, make sure you watch at least three hours this weekend. You get a chance to earn those awesome Twitch drops. But it looks like this diamond encrusted coating, which is only for the sidekick, might not be the only coating we have coming our way. Cause Tashi did say more diamonds basically on the way. So I would assume probably like assault rifle, battle rifle, your typical suite of weapons that get coatings are probably gonna be thrown in with this mix as well. Now, will they be coming with other Twitch drops in the future? with like maybe some of the uh, weekend HTS events or will it be part of the store or maybe a future battle pass? We don't know, but this I think this is actually a really cool step forward with customization with Halo Infinite as well. So they're looking to maybe kind of branch out a little bit and be a little more experimental and kind of maybe a little bit more flashy with their uh, content as well. Because for the most part, I find that a lot of the customization that they have for the game that they're selling for us, most of it's just kind of like standard armor sets and colors. It's actually kind of stopped me from purchasing a lot of things in the game because I'm like, oh, that does look nice, but hey, it's just colors. I don't need to jump in and spend the money on this. Cause like, even though like the new one, like the red, white, and blue coating that's right now in the store, it does look nice on that uh, Eagle Strike core. It's just red, white, and blue. They're just colors, not that interesting. Now you, you throw diamonds on it, now you have my attention. Now a bit of leaked information about HGS. looks like they might be expanding the partner teams here, making an announcement very soon right here as uh, you know, HGS Intel, which have been, you know, somewhat credible about their leaks and stuff like that. They seem to be a little too early on their announcements sometimes when they get information. Uh, but it says sources say the organizations will hear back if they got partnered with the HDS this week. So they reportedly, uh, we've narrowed da down to a few applications, no official announcements on the date yet. So we should know relatively soon when we can see some more teams coming in to be involved with the competitive side of things of Halo. Uh, which, you know, it might be like, why would people do that? But like these partner teams get a lot of benefits, like, you know, paid flights and also a little bit of a preferential treatment compared to like teams that just kind of sign up through the open bracket. So this is gonna be a huge expansion and really great to see what teams want to jump in and get involved with Halo. That I would assume probably most likely it would be teams that are already involved with the organization. It might also be looking to expand beyond just the uh, United States market, maybe some more EU teams, maybe even some Australian teams as well, maybe some Mexican teams on top of that, uh, just to try to you know expand the reach and give like these other regions a viable option to get involved with the competitive side of things. I know a lot of people 
people have been following interest of seeing 100 Thieves wants to jump in as a competitive team. I think that's the team where we could see some exceptions because the owner of 100 Thieves, Nate Shot, said this once Halo first launched. Damn. I'm fucking salty. Now I just want a damn 100 Thieves skin in this thing. Well, we could do it. You know, I encourage you. You did encourage. Well, even if we wanted to get into Halo right now, I don't, I don't know what if we would even have could find a team that can compete. I, I, I could have found a team for you. I know you could have. Okay. Now, of course, Nate said this when the game first launched, so there's a little bit of envy behind that as well. When it comes to the start of the game, obviously things have changed when it comes to the perception of Halo Infinite for sure since the launch of the game. But if you get any kind of information about big organizations or like big popular teams like 100 Things getting involved with Halo, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. So could Halo be gaining more free-to-play experiences, plural, right? Well, according to Joseph Staten, it sounds like it. Saying right here on a LinkedIn post saying heads up 343 Industries is looking for a senior design leader to help guide the present and future of Halo's free to play experiences, plural experiences details in the link below. Now I did check out the link right here. It's all pretty vague, just standard kind of job description kind of stuff. So nothing really too, um, interesting to kind of pick out of the whole job description right there. But interesting thing to mention experiences plural. Now it just kind of depends what he means by plural, right? I mean, could plural be like a micro level, like free to play microtransactions, free to play multiplayer, free to play customization or something like that. Or does he mean like more macro, like a whole new game mode coming in? Like, I don't know, a rumored mode from certain affinity who said they're doubling down their support of Halo. It could be rumored, but that's a battle royale. That's going to be from Jazz Corey mentioned that could be coming out later this year, but then it looks like it might be delayed. I don't know. Though this job posting just looked to be more kind of involved with the live team service kind of stuff, maybe more of a kind of a micro element of what Jerry Hook was working on for 343. Uh, again, like if they're looking for people now to kind of fill in these positions, I wouldn't expect anything maybe even coming out, maybe even later this year. I wouldn't expect anything like that. Uh, this probably be more like in 2023, we'd probably see something that would come to fruition from this hire. Uh, though for, I would say pretty much for this first year, guys, I wouldn't really expect anything big or crazy game mode to happen. Do I think that Joseph Sane is referring to like a Battle Royale mode kind of coming along? Because the rumor is that the Tatanka mode working on by certain affinity is a battle royale and it will be like a separate entity kind of like how warzone is with call of duty but still tied together in some capacity uh if that's the case then yeah i totally could see that being the case of being like experiences plural being involved with that though we didn't have the tatanka mode revealed at all during the xbox showcase showcase and everything that's gonna be happening with xbox and all the cool stuff that makes you want to subscribe to game pass for the next like 12 months right that would be something they would mention for sure a battle royale within halo halo wasn't even mentioned at all and so i don't really expect to see anything happening this year but 2023 could be a quite an interesting experience but still a rather interesting tidbit of information i wanted to share with you guys there but if you guys are new to the channel missing content from me recently check out this playlist right here i'm gonna link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching great i appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out